Hey guys, welcome back to Flying in Space with Planet Head. Um, hoping we have a little bit of time here as I just gave the dog a new bone. So hopefully that'll keep her a little bit occupied. Um, so if you watched last night's video, I uh, did make it to um, Stain with William Pilgrim. Um, and uh, I brought the Stabber BPC with me. Um, not Stain, I didn't make it to Stain, I made it to the Great Wildlands, so that is there, but I don't have enough, um, Tritanium yet to build that Stabber, so later on tonight, off video, I will be working on blowing up more stuff and melting more stuff down, so that maybe tomorrow I might be able to build the first one? We'll see what happens. If not, definitely the next day or two. Um, I didn't have time to get to this today, so I'm going to do it today. Um, I wanted to do a test flight um, or a test try with my current character or my other character on this account, um, Amanda Rose Pilgrim. She's currently flying a, um, well, let's just jump in. She's flying a Dragoon. Well, I want to show you here too. Though. Um, and uh, she has a couple hours left till she skills into level five of destroyer which gives you more damage for your drones so my thought was that um just to do a really quick demonstration of uh flying and shooting some stuff with the um with the dragoon with the drones hopefully i can find a battleship that i won't destroy um and then go dock up really quickly um use my saved skill points to move to level five to see what the difference and then fly out and test it again and get a feel for the difference between level four and level five of a specific skill um because uh when you go from level one through four it's normally a very quick skill train especially one through three and almost everything but going from level four to level five is a big, it takes a lot of time. So the question is, is it worth it um, at beginning stages of a character to really shoot for that level five? I know I've gotten to level five with William Pilgrim, with the gunnery stuff and things like that. Um, but I really kind of want to do a really quick test. And this doesn't work for every skill. Um, but this one is a very basic skill where every level that you go up as the Dragoon, as a destroyer, a Mar destroyer, it's supposed to increase your damage by the drones by 10%. So we'll take a look at it here. Uh, currently, I didn't even know this. Uh, I talked about it last night. I didn't even know this was coming up. It's the season of the Red Star Gazing. So if you haven't jumped in recently, uh, they are giving away some free stuff, both to Alpha and Omega characters. I like the fact that as a the Omega characters are getting a bunch of skins. I'm a big fan of skins. To make the game a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and claim that. That's my day two. But you still have 11 days to get seven days down. So if you're just coming in, you can still catch up on it. And then I always like to do this. We're going to find out how many skill points I can get for my daily bonus. We're going to find out here. A lot of times it's like oh, 22,000 isn't too bad. So we're going to jump in there. And like I said before, I've got William Pilgrim over here. He's got his Thrasher out. He's blowing some stuff up um, and saving some equipment to melt down to get some Tritanium to build that his first cruiser he has ever flown. Um, and then I've got Amanda Rose over here. She's working on level 5 of Amar Destroyer. She's got 16 hours left. I should easily have enough saved up skill points to do that. Um, but uh, we want to fly around first, hopefully and try to blow stuff up as a level four destroyer. So let's go ahead and boot into her area real quick. Tomorrow is my last day of the work work week, so I will hopefully have a little bit more time to play um, tomorrow night and the next couple of days. Um, this might be a nice little trick. Those, it's a little bone, but it's pretty powerful. That'll keep my keep my uh, going there. Okay, okay, cool. We have nobody in the system. Last night when I thought about testing it out at the end of the video, I was super tired. Plus, somebody else was in the system, so I had to trigger try to figure out a spot someplace else. And I was like, you know what? Let's just wait till today. So, uh, just to give you an idea where the dragoon is at right now, 
I've got um, five um, warrior drones in here because the ships I'm going up against are more susceptible to um, explosive damage. Do I have five? Yeah, there's five. I just don't have that window open enough. Um, and then uh, currently my DPS is at 146.2. Um, now the question is whether or not that's taking into effect the warriors or the acolytes. I am going to just to figure out a little bit here. I'm going to launch the acolytes. It's going to sound weird. So my DPS just dropped to 107. Notice that? Um, because I've got acolytes flying around. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is bring these acolytes back in. Um, well, I can't. Can I scoop the acolytes? Let's see if I can do that. There they are. They're just sitting there. I'm going to scoop. Can I scoop them to cargo hold? I'm just moving them to my cargo hold. I can. Never tried that before. Because I want an exact amount on the um, scoop to cargo hold. There we go. So now I'm only dealing with warriors. Notice my offense went up to 141.8 again. That's kind of interesting. I never tried that before. Uh, don't poo-poo this fit. This is just me messing around a little bit um, with things that I've found. Um, it's just a very, 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 very basic fit. I haven't even figured out the power grid and stuff like that. Full tilt. just want to see what the major difference is. So we've got the warriors ready. We've got the ship ready. Let's see. Hopefully there is some bad guys at the desolate asteroid here. I don't want to fly around all over the place and try to find somebody. <laughs> Green giant. <whistles> Having fun. Blowing stuff up in EVE Online. There it is. Sweet. This is actually perfect. So I've got um, three uh, regular fighters and then a battleship here. So I'm going to go ahead and close in. Now I could just upgrade my skills. Oh, we need to get my drones out. That would be smart. Um, I'm going to try to take out these fighters first. Or frigates, whichever we want to call them. Let's go get go get those guys. Kill, kill, kill. I'm gonna wait. I want to see how things are working out. Always zoom out. I always forget that. Um, it is much much better to be at a zoomed out range to see what's going on see where the placement is of everything and a tactical display when you're up close yeah it's nice and pretty um and i like doing that but um if you're really trying to do well with the game it's always smart to be zoomed out okay we've almost got the last frigate dead here beep, 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 loo. Okay, notice I'm not firing my guns. I am. This is really just a test. Um, so we now have a angel commander. Let's see how strong this puppy is. It's your lowest level battleship. Um, so that's important. Um, and just with my drones, when I, you can almost tell when a lowest level battleship is for your rats. There are some lower level ones. Um, but for your generic rats, they usually go at about 500,000 isk for the bounty. I know there's some subspecies of rats that are out there. Um, but, uh, or NPC characters are even lower than that. But those are uh, more so for your sites and things like that. As far as your asteroid belts, the lowest level battleships normally are at 500,000. So even without me using my guns right now... Um, I'm able to, with the Dragoon, Dragoon, <laughs> dra Dragoon, yeah, that's right, Dragoon, 
Um, I'm able to actually pick away at his um, shields. Now, I know the highest level battleships have way... I can't actually kill those right now. Um, I was trying to do one the other day, and I got it down to about 75%, and then he just started taking my damage, even with my guns going. So, um, looking here... Oh, that was a high level hit there 138 but the rest of them here look in jump that must have been a critical hit on that one the rest of them here top i'm looking at 62 62 for a smash um 54 for a penetrate there's another perfect a wreck is 138 66 so uh, 66 seems to be the highest so far that I've seen that the drones are doing right now, but I am pinging him down here. So, what I'm going to do is warp back to my save spot. Whoop! Pull the drones in, dummy. Get back in here. Come on. Stop my ship. Ah. <sighs> I am so dumb. Oh, come on. Please tell me I didn't just leave my drones. I left my drones there. I was hitting the hot, hot key. Now I got to warp back. Hopefully he doesn't shoot one of the drones. That's going to be really frustrating. Because they're just going to sit there now. I got to get back there as quickly as possible. Reconnect with the drones. Scoop them back into the drone bay. Ah! See, this is why I'm dumb. I swear I was hitting the hotkey there. I hit a little bit late, but you notice it didn't register at all that they were going. So that was dumb. So if I remember correctly, 68 or 66 was the highest damage that I was doing. Okay, how many I got here? Okay, all of them are still there. Scoop to drone bay. Let's try to get to them as quickly as possible. I'm going to go ahead and try to draw its attention if it's going after my drones. reason why I did that was um, just to try to... If he's picking up my drones right now, I don't want him to die. A lot of times when you warp away, um, they'll take out your drones while they're sitting there, which can be a real pain if you've spent money, good money on drones. These are very basic drones here. I really just want them back because I want the full tilt... Now he's hit, actually hitting me here. That's not nice. Let's get my shield recharger up here. Actually, everything. Okay. Scoop to drone bay. I could reconnect right now. It's kind of dumb of me. Now, oh, I'm circling him? Come on, don't circle him. Circle the drones, dummy. Dee, dee, dee. You can always tell when I'm tired. I, I always say I'm tired. I think I'm just dumb. Um, okay. Scoop to drone bay. Scoop to drone bay. Scoop to drone bay. It's probably a faster way of doing this. Actually, can I reconnect now? There is a hotkey to reconnect with your drones. Um, there we go. Got them all in. I didn't want to take the time to go look it up. It would have taken me longer to look that up right now. I should know it, though. That's pretty dumb of me. Okay. Warp, warp, warp. While we're flying, um, let's see if we can figure out the hotkey hot key to reconnect to drones. Do -do 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 -do. Shortcuts, drones, all engines, return to orbit, return to bay, uh, reconnect with drones. I don't have one set up, so I need to set one up for that. That would have reconnected all five, and then I could have called them all in. So I didn't have that set up. And Brain ain't smart enough to figure out a key that isn't currently being used. Okay, so we are warped away. Might as well pull, reload my guns. Now... I'm going to go in here. I'm at level 5. Let's take one last look. 
141.8 is the current damage that I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and as you can see, the special traits... Where is it here? Show info. Special traits for Dragoon is a 10% bonus per Amar Destroyer level for the drone's hit points and their damage. So the damage that they do is what I'm looking for right now. Hit points are important, especially for high-priced drones. So don't get me wrong with that. But I'm looking at the damage. I just want to see what the difference is going to be. So right now, I'm at 141.8. And if we go into my skills, I've got 156. I'm actually going to learn, learn a lot. Ooh, but I only wanted to, because I don't want to upgrade all of these other ones right now. I want to see what happens. So I am What is that? Okay. That'll get me even more of a bonus down the road. I want to clear all these out. I can always fix them down the road. Bye, bye, bye. Should have done this before I started the video. Should be a clear skill queue button. Hey, if you guys want to uh, ask um, CCP, we want a skir um, clear skill queue button. Boy, this is, boy, I had a heck of a. Come on. There we go. Might as well. I don't really... I can let the... Um, I'm just going to take care of the drone skills here. That'll save some time. Because I'm going to throw those back in after we get done with this. So I might as well get my hacking skills up for my... That won't affect the... When I dump all these skill points in, it won't affect the... Um, experiment that I'm doing. So, and I'll get a little bit ahead on those. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're going to dump, apply the skill points. What was it at here? 141.8. See how it's going to take my destroyer through, then hacking level far, and then acceleration control. So I'm fine with all that. There we go. Those skills are up. Woohoo! And then, did it change on the fly, or do I have to go dock up? 148.6. So, roughly about 7 damage per second. So, about 1.5 damage per drone of the current drones that I'm using. So, your lowest level drones, um, yeah, okay. So let's go shoot at a guy and see what happens. Probably won't be a huge difference, but over time, it'll probably affect it. Because when you're doing, um, when you're doing your ratting, and a lot of people do it for bounties and things like that, I do it so that I can get more equipment that I can melt down to make into other ships and mess around with something new. But a lot of people do it for the bounties to make isk. The damage you do per second is very important because it speeds up the number of ships that you can blow up. So there we go. Don't really need... Why did I have that going the whole time? All right. So we're going to go ahead and get our drones going. I'm closing my distance with them. And we are going to go ahead and engage the drones and see what happens. Not going to be a huge difference. If it goes, if the regular damage goes over 70, then we know that it's really made a difference. So 67, wasn't there a 68 there earlier? I think there was a 68. Just watching, 64, 57, 60, not seeing, there's a 73, two 73s of, and those are smashes. So about, Per hit, those were up by about five. 
Now that's a bonus on every one of these hits. So even your low, there's a 72 right there. All your low ones um, are also additionally added on to. Notice his shields are definitely going down slower or faster. Um, so that's really big. Um, so in my mind, it was worthwhile for me to do that level five of that skill. Now, every skill is going to be different, but for these drones, definitely. Also think about it this way. It's a 10% bonus stacked. Um, so when you do level one to two, you get a 10% bonus, but I think it stacks on top of that. So when you do like a level two to three, you get not a 20% bonus, but a 10% bonus and then a 10% bonus on top of that. So in reality, kind of, if I'm doing my math right, just a little bit more of a bonus. And then same thing with level four, going from three to four. You're not getting a 30% bonus. You're getting a 10% um, uh, on top of 10% on top of 10%. It's a weird math um, for maybe if you're left brain like I'm not, where you're artistic. Uh, just trust me, if you're right-brained and you want to prove me wrong, please feel free. I might be completely off with this. But I like thinking of these types of things with a cup of coffee. <laughs> Notice I'm just watching this. Nobody in local. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to hang out here, watch my drones do their work. This is the only thing that um, I got a little bit away from when I came back. I stopped. I tried my hardest not to use drones. Um they're going to be useful out here. So I, I told myself I wasn't going to use drones until I, they would be useful for me. Because when I used to play um, a long time ago, I was first a miner, which is you use the drones to defend yourself um, with your uh, mining barges. And then uh, later on, I went into Glinte and got up to battle cruisers and even got into Dominic's. And I was using all sorts of drones with that sort of stuff. So I was trying to do something a little bit different. One thing I have not delved into hardly at all, especially since I came back in the, about a year and a half ago, I haven't done anything with missiles. I'm kind of keeping that in the background. Um, at some point, I will start messing around with missiles. They are very helpful, very useful. But it's kind of one of those things I don't... I want to keep that in, to a point where I'm like, I'm completely lost on something new to do. Let's go learn missiles. So I'm kind of looking forward to that at some point. But drones, these are helpful. Look at that. I'm just hanging out. What do you say? How about if I shoot him with my guns? We'll see what happens here. Boom, 112. <laughs> There's a 148 and a 139. All righty. Good for me. Work 176. All right. Okay, so um, to be honest with you, that's all I really wanted to do with this character tonight. Um, I'm actually, once I get finished killing this guy off, I'm going to loot the bodies, take it back to base, and then I'm going to boot back up with William Pilgrim and try to blow, go blow up some stuff and get some more loot so I can hopefully make my stab or something. Hey, whoa, what just happened? Did he hit me? You guys saw that, didn't you? Maybe it just came from a weird angle. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> that was kind of cool. And of course, I don't have it at my long range. All right. Well, that's all I got for tonight. Um, I will hopefully have better con or different content the next couple days. I want to get that stabber out there where I want to do a salvaged, sca uh, a salvaged scabber. Stabber? Wow. A salvaged stabber ship made of junk pieces and see what I can do with it and then we'll slowly upgrade from there but hey if you have any ideas any thoughts please feel free to comment um, you can also join the discord channel that's in the um, description or um, you can message me in game or you can call a close family member and say hi and thank them for being a friendly person and have personal contact with people <laughs> or you can call for your dog who has completely ignored us with that bone that she has 
It's like the first video ever that she hasn't shown up. We may have figured something out. But other than that, hey guys, fly safe, fly dangerously, fly wherever you want. I will talk to you soon. You guys have a great weekend coming up here. See ya.